play either Brood Warden or Flying Duder. I think Brood Warden's better because he can tap Flying Duder. Oh, sure enough. Mm -hmm. Although Flying Duder lets us fly Palaka Worm. Will that matter? Probably. Well, it, it might, actually. And then F Hedron Field Pyrrhus does some weird, crazy stuff. I think I still want Brood Warden at least in play just to kind of muck up the ground a little more. Yeah, okay. Because, like, say he plays Teacher, all of a sudden his board looks really kind of scary. Though we are in 27, so... Mm. I mean, we're at the point where we can draw almost any card in our deck and be really fine. Yeah, any card gets us, like, we need three thing mana sources to get to this Path Razor, and Path Razor ends this. Right, I, I, I know he's not holding a teacher, but I am assuming this deck plays teacher. I'm going to make that assumption. It also could play, like, Time and Eat as well, but teacher, teacher could be, like, some sort of top deck off of him. How to spy patrol? Okay. Yep, one of them there, Rise of the Eldrazi boards. Yep. One of that there, we now no longer like have a technical safe attack with Palaka Worm. Mm. But I would take his quad block. Because it would kill Knight of Cliffhaven and Hata Spy Patrol. So would it? He gets to prevent damage to things. I would three damage to Knight of Cliffhaven and three damage to Hata Spy Patrol. Oh. How about drop equip Warmonger's Chariot on the guy? <laughs> <laughs> how about how about your math? <laughs> Screw your math. <laughs> Alright, you thought you could kill Palaka Worm, eh? Just for the safe. <laughs> now he's pulling a chariot. Uh, okay. You got it, buddy. Cool. Just when you thought you were safe. If the man's holding smite, the man's holding smite. I'm. Yeah. I, I can't play around that. All right, we get five on him. Sweet. Oh, no. Yeah, five on him, so he goes to seven. Okay, this is so weird. Yeah, Hedron Field Purist is, is hard to... Yeah, I've, I've played against out. that man a, a number of times, and with it once or twice, and... Honestly, Hedron Field Purists is the perfect example of everything that is wrong with Rise of the Eldrazi <laughs> in one card. <laughs> He is the most complex man. This is so many numbers to keep track of, it's ridiculous. No one plays with him correctly. Oh my lord, 2x max out, Hedron Field Paris, get in. Ugh. <laughs> That's where we want Pathraiser just to simplify things. Right. The cool thing about this board he has right now is that he, he has, you know, 7 mana. That's cool. He has so many options. Like... Okay, so he's, he's pumping up the Vindicator to pump his team by plus one. <laughs> Alright, now I have to, like, weird math the attack... away. Uh, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm 
would I be fine trading Palaka Worm off for one of those? I don't think so. I think we want to have a flying Palaka Worm. I think with Invoker, we still have enough damage, though. I mean, the guard Gamazua is flying. You can level up Knight of Cliff Haven okay, as flying. Okay, okay, okay. But the, it keeps Palaka Worm alive and attacking. Right. It also puts a body on the board. It's not like he's attacking anytime soon. That's fair. Also, we have a lot of life. Okay, so yeah, well, I mean, I'm playing this guy regardless of the circumstance. I just don't know if I'm attacking. I don't think you're attacking. Yeah, the flying Palaka worm is too 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 threatening to not to do that. That's fair. No, I guess there is no need to rush. And what happens? Like worst case, he answers Palaka worm, and then something crazy occurs. I don't know. Path Razor of Ulamog. Let's get in. <laughs> We draw Distortion Strike, and <laughs> this game ends on the, on Distortion Strike. Yeah, we get to show him why we have a mountain in the deck. <laughs> God. So he's he, oh he's going for the Vindicator like super level plan. Um, I think I show him why this plan is bad. He has one flyer, right? Uh, looks like guard Gamazoa. He didn't level up Knight of Cliffhaven at all. I give my team flying and swing everybody. And then he dies. Let, let's do that. He gets to tap one of them down, so the Frostwind Invoker itself. And then he dies. Because he can stop four... No, that dude, yeah. don't have, that dude does not have Smite. I, I mean, he could have Smite. I don't believe him. <laughs> He really needs to have smite. Like, even if he smites it, we just... We have the, the final... <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't get to pump flying at that point, but... I know. Alright, so Palaka Worm is... Four damage... Yeah, I swing team. Let me just count the crack back in case. Uh, four... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Jump! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I expected to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about our naturalized? Do we care about that? Naturalized could have saved us a lot of grief. Yeah. I, I didn't... Know that we had one. We do have one. We, I think we can safely board that in for something. Yeah. What do we got? <sighs> uh, not the, maybe the brood warden. Maybe distortion strike would have been beyond good yeah, in that last we'll... game. Hold that. Come that. Come on in. Um. How good is Spore Cap Spider? Super blocker. He blocks a fully evolved uh, knight. Knight of Cliffhaven, that's true. I honestly think Brood Warden is the guy. Yeah, away you go. Alright. <sighs> to game three! <laughs> good lord. Whoa. Looking good. Whoa. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're actually three up on him. Let's, that's what you get for playing tons of levelers. <laughs> Let's break him. We must break him. We'll break you. Caravan escort, sure. 
<laughs> we will break you! <laughs> And level up his guy, nice that two, makes two. sense. Oh. This guy's a buster. Time of heroes. Ugh. Good thing we brought in Naturalize. Yeah, no kidding. Ha. Wow. Alright, I'm still going to break him. Uh, oh, could you could oral. set up a trade that he doesn't know is a trade. Well, I could set it up to be a not trade next turn, too. Yeah, that's probably yeah, we we have time for that. Let's do it. And <laughs> importantly <laughs> Oh, you're a one one that becomes a two two, that's nice. Mm, yeah, so you gotta play Time of Heroes and then you're like, cool, hmm, yes. <laughs> I see. How interesting. Get the get out of here with that. Okay, so what's the real thing here? Like, I could swing and C8 Oracle, I could just I think, hold Regress? Yeah, I think we want to hold Regress. We still have time. Um, he's not going to block. He could have Smite in his hand, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. But I, I like the plan of casting Seagate Oracle this turn. I don't think we need to regress immediately, and I don't think we need a distortion strike or anything. Yeah, okay, so let's let's see Gate Oracle and we'll see what happens. Whoa. Ooh, suddenly distortion strike sounds a lot spicier. How spicy? I'm I'm quick I'm counting up the spice here. Well, so does Regress. So this is the card that goes in the yeah. hand, anyway. Um, well, Distortion Strike makes the attack here... Five. I don't. He's not blocking, so I don't even think it's ne necessary to play it. Um, but you can set up for a Drop Equip Warmonger's Chariot. I have to worry about dying, too. I guess that's the case. I'm on 10, and he's going to have 7 power next turn. 7 full power. I think I play... I think I swing 4, and then... Actually, yeah, swing 4. I'm trading 4 damage for 3 from him. Bunch of math. Freaking hell. Yeah, okay. Swing four past turn. And then Seagate Oracle just has to, like, make a block. We're not distortion striking this turn yet. Honestly, Mnemonic Wall is more likely picking up Regress than anything else. Yeah, it seems pretty good. It's sad that we can't seem to set up the uh, <clears throat> the blowout block with Regress, but... Right. 
Alright, um... Do I care about this attack? Not really? Yeah. I think I'd rather control the other creature at the moment. Okay, level of the purists. Now they're huge. Okay, so I just go ahead and, like, land pass. God, I don't have triple blue for that. Um, if I regress the time of heroes, is Hedron Field Pierce goes down to a uh, one four that prevents one damage. I could land Chariot Pass. Is that a that one? would leave up all your options. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like that a little better. Like, yeah, looks kind of sketch, but whatever. Let's telegraph this one. I'm going to telegraph the hell out of this one. Ah, Yobi layer three. We'll convince him that it's a bluff. <laughs> Why would he do that? Wait. Why would I do that? <laughs> yeah, we're just bluffing the smite. Right, right, and the more we bluff, the more time he spends. It's excellent. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, I like this a ton. If he, if he swings, I'm going to go ahead and immediately regress Time of Heroes and block Caravan Escort down. He then will probably have to recast Time of Heroes. At that point, I'll be able to go equip Warmonger's Chariot, Distortion Strike in for six, rebound in for six. And that's counting Hedron Feared Pierce, reducing my 7 6 to a 6 6. <sighs> okay. An Umbra. Oh. Hmm. Well, we can no longer block that guy down. What if I bounce the man? Yeah. That's, uh, that sounds pretty good. Again, the plan is he's dead in two turns, and we also have Mnemonic Wall and Seagate Oracle as a buster for it. Yeah, alright, so regress the man. Yeah, regress during attacks in case you need to, like, chump with Seagate Oracle. Yep, so regress the man, he can't recast the man, because he doesn't have... Doesn't have white. White. Unless he's holding a planes in hand. <laughs> oh, good God! <laughs> Man, that, that would be like Yomi Layer 4 on me. <laughs> By the way, planes. Planes. <laughs> Make my... It was Island! Ha 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 Okay, so... At this point, I go Distortion Strike. In for an attack. Do we... I can't leave Deprive up. It's kind of sad. Uh, do we equip the chariot, level him, or play mnemonic wall? Equip the chariot. Well, okay, first things first, I'm going to distortion strike and see if he counters me. He doesn't. Okay. So at this point, I go land, equip... In for six. Now he is... I am threatening lethal. And yeah, now he needs narcolepsy. This is the question. I'm asking the question.
Let's see how he does on the answer. A removal spell would basically do it. That's what he needs. I don't think anything short of that does. No. He would have to level that Hedron Field Pyrrhus up mighty big. Okay, so like venerated teacher. Double venerated teacher. Double venerated teacher attack. Um mm. No, that that doesn't even do it. If he ha yeah, he's he he has just Yes! <laughs> He just went he... through everything we just spoke. Okay, cool. So we man... got broke him. <laughs> <laughs> we will break you. <laughs> I am. I'm very happy that the, the the beast, the breaker, got to got to break him. That was good. We also got to we got make really good use out of the the breaker. We got to make really good use out of the regress. Oh my god, Beast Breaker of Balaged is Mike Hagger. Yeah, he's Mike Hagger. <laughs> <Zendar>. <laughs> Crime has gotten too extreme in this city. Time to remind them why I am the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Alright, cool. I'm gonna step away to save my game. Alright. How about Yoshi are cool? I like Yoshi are cool. It's it's like a good statement. Yoshi are cool indeed. Sadly, Yoshi are cool was defeated by Milamo Squishy. These are actually a pretty good name. Calavera is even fine. Yes, I was the last match to finish. We're the we were, we were the ones. Good. Also, now we get two packs. Calavera Hellion. Yeah, um, we're we're good. Uh, we're missing double blue for deprive, but we can cast everything else very well. So no, we don't want a mulligan. We also, oof, I'm excuse me. We have a curve. Hi. I am back from draining the wizard. Ah, so uh. Oh no, he's playing the good version of our deck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> our hand was everything but the Beast Breaker initially, and now we got the Breaker. And I'm feeling he's the play here, because it gets over overgrown Battlement. <laughs> he will break through this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hager is taking none of your walls. <laughs> this is the man. This is the lifting man. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, a Death Touch man. Okay. Hmm. No longer climbing the wall. Exactly. Yeah. I'm no longer... I'm feeling the nest invader. Yeah, it feels terrible to attack a daggerback basilisk into that guy. Yeah, like, now he can't attack. We've got some time. Well, he's like mono green or something. If he finds that in his Eldrazi, this is gonna get... Oh, hey. Hello. There couldn't possibly be more Palaka worms in the in the draft. That can't happen. <laughs> yeah. No, that can't. Um, There's no way. I am gonna. I could play the flyer. Oh, so you could. I think that's a good plan here. Sure. It's not like waiting for eleven monas. <laughs> yeah. Do it exactly. Draw our token, uncastable man. <laughs> God. In a rational world, should not be in the deck, but 
All right, buddy, come up with Spore Cap Spider or Spider Umbra. He's going to leaf arrow it. Hey, Flame Slash. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Heat Ray. Battle Rattle Shaman. Hmm. All I mean, right. That's cool and all, but... Ah, yes. That Defender needed some power. Hey, Battle Rattle Shaman is terribly legit. I agree with you. Hi. Ooh, a plan forms. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and play the spider because that blocks Battle Rattle Shaman, like, power level guys. Then next yeah. turn, we can start getting in unblockable levels of damage. Can we attack with our flyer? Oh, of course. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. <laughs> God, no. Guess what are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Flyer's a seven turn clock. Flyer plus Beast Breaker of Baligod like a three turn clock. Mm. I like that we're talking in terms of how quickly we're going to murder this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Crush him with moves. <laughs> we can deal damage, right? Ah, he uh, he's pumped our spore cap spider. Oh, th thanks. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we needed that extra power in case we wanted to block and kill your dagger back, Basilisk, with our spider. You were getting the level up. And then you're getting the distortion strike. <laughs> We're the kiln fiend deck, you see. <laughs> and out comes the heat ray. No. N no? No. O okay. All right, then Polaka Worm. Eldrazi. 100% land. Oh. Ooh. Very sorry, sir. He, he was on a mult to six. I I guess I didn't yeah. mention, so Well that at least explains it. So okay, I was I was scared of an Eldrazi, but I was going to accept it our lands as collateral damage in case of it. I don't know enough about his deck to make changes. Yeah, he's not gonna have flyers. He's gonna have damage? He is going to have damage, like Heat Ray, Flame Slash, Stagger Shock. Um, we could put the Snake Umber in, maybe. Is there something that we have that's bad against him having just gigantic creatures? Not especially. Like, everything... I, I feel we're pretty solid on the main deck at the moment. Again, the Brood Warden's, like, the only questionable... Yeah, I moment. mean, hmm. it would be Brood Warden out for Snake Umbra in, just to be, like, greedy on cards. It could be, yeah. like, Brood Warden out for Frostwind Invoker in, or something greedy, like, greedy as hell like that. <laughs> I guess if he's not gonna have answers for Flyers, like, no Leaf Arrow, no, uh, Spiders. We We took Spiders. We took Spiders. Maybe we just stick with it as is. Let's go. Ship it back. Distortion Strike 2 in? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he's gonna have no removal. Good <laughs> lord! Hmm! <laughs> so, uh, how do you, how do you like <laughs> this? I'm going to know. This mountain <laughs> is freaking everywhere. This is the hero mountain. He's what? our... No, no, he's our uh, he's our vanguard mountain. Like, <laughs> is this an opening hand mountain? You you just have the mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm a bit slower than that. So, also, this guy's not like the most aggressive of men. Yeah, watch him go like nest invader Kozilex predator, and won't you look? <laughs> Every time. It's all good. Ooh. Huh. I mean, I think we take Palaka Worm, but... Yeah. That's, that's not, like, much of a question. So next turn we have, like, this really dumb combo where I play Snake Umbra and then, like... Distortion Strike, if I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. So this here's a trap. Gonna let you in on the secret. This block is a trap. He can tap this to make his guy two, two toughness. So. Yeah. 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 You, you found it. Mm -hmm. You found the secret. I think Kozilek's Predator sounds pretty solid next turn.
Yeah. Yeah, let's go Kozilex Predator. That might actually like hold him back from attacking. Hey, hey, we might get to the stats <laughs> raising. Freaking we might get to 11. <laughs> let's turn it up. Oh no, Kozilex Predator also made the weird... Yeah, well, old, what the hell? Old style spawn. What makes that happen? I don't know. Hi, Overgrown Battlement. Hmm. Oh no, more creatures. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, that's difficult. I don't like where this is going. This guy is super hard to deal with now. He tramples too. Yeah. Okay, well... Ick. I think I just take the hit. Maybe the uh, correct answer is to put pressure on our opponent. Like, snake umber distortion strike on Kozilek's predator kind of pressure if we're not going to be blocking that guy. Right. Well, I could snake umbra and then block it, trade umbras. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. There's no point in blocking that. Let's see. He probably just hits me well, before. You, you can do that after drawing cards with snake umbra. <laughs> Yeah. I love to draw forests. That would turn this around. Yo. <laughs> yeah, maybe the pressure plan is a good plan. I, I like the pressure plan, especially since we drew a forest there, so we can sort of lean on Palaka Worm to, to like life gain us out of it. Okay, so yeah, uh, Snake Umbra, Kozilek's Predator. Um, Distortion Strike, Kozilek's Predator, 5. And then we might even draw into the forest. And then everything, if we resolve that, everything looks beautiful. I, I would like to use that ability. Okay. That is good, because that's like a pile of chump blockers. Yeah, man. But he wishes he had our setup. <laughs> yeah. I, again, have to just take this hit. Actually, yeah, I just have to. C8 Oracle, gain three life. That might be fine. C8 Oracle's st stopping this from... Yeah, next turn I'll be... Yeah, okay. Let's, anyway, let's, let's, let's go ahead and block. Maybe we rattle him. Rattle his bones. Yeah, we're drawing two cards next turn. Mm-hmm. Like, that's... Ah, I have successfully rattled his bones. <laughs> Do we have a pump spell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to go into exiled cards... Cast Distortion Strike, Targeting Kozilek's Predator, okay. Cool. Then we swing first. Yes, this is important. Because we're going to draw the forest. I like my plan even if we don't, which is Mnemonic Wall to get Distortion Strike back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well it's Mnemonic Wall. Actually, I think it's Nest Invader Mnemonic Wall. Sure. Just to get more on the board. Yeah, that puts more bodies on the board. Sorry, Pathraiser of Ulamog. It just wasn't your time. Also, this is like a huge threat now because Distortion Strike might just kill him. He's on 10. Two more distortion strikes is lethal. <laughs> God, he's got to have Flame Slash or Heat Ray yeah, or... Dude, where's your kill spells? He's not playing Red for Battle Rattle Shaman is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Daggerback Basilisk. Yeah, okay. No, that doesn't do it. I mean, it gives him more total... 
power. Power, yeah. Abort. That's a thing. I'm just gonna block with pneumonic wall. Uh, it's already served its purpose. Fine. Yeah. It's gonna get back our spell, gain us four life. Sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, he should probably tap the basilisk here to get damage in. Maybe the shaman too. Honestly, you might yeah. want to tap the world. Yeah, he's gonna tap the world to get three points through. Wow, that feels kind of foul. Let's. Uh... I'm counting some six. Okay, well, now, um, do I even care to distortion strike? Well, you could drop equip Warmonger's Chariot instead. I uh, gotta Cast. gotta leave a Palaka Worm. Uh, I gotta leave a Palaka Worm mana in case I draw draw it off of Kozlex Predator. Oh, okay. Um, because like if I if I suit up, I think he kills me on the crackback. I'm just thinking here. I like drawing a card is honestly what I want. I mean, we still have Palaka Worm if you draw a forest after casting Distortion Strike on Kuzel X. Yeah, okay. So let's, so let's make that let's make that play. And then this threatens lethal next turn. I'm sad it couldn't be lethal this turn, but we're actually th uh, we're actually one point short of lethal this turn. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. Drop a quick Warmonger's Chariot would have been nine. Yeah. Jeez. Island. Okay. Um. Gonna what? play a Frostwind Invoker. No, oh, down he goes. I'm going to play a Frostwind Invoker, sacking an Eldrazi spawn. It sounds good. It's not like the Eldrazi spawn is doing all that much for us. Right. Um, I'm just counting up blocking damage. Yeah, okay. Because I want Deprive Up in case of... Um, pump. Overrun? Over His yeah. own Palaka Worm? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> own Palaka Worm. Own Palaka Worm! Yeah. Can't have that. Five, six... Yeah, he drops a land and he has... Palaka Worm Mana. Mm -hmm. it also, like, something huge, like maybe, like, land skittering invasion. Uh, Overgrown Battlements taps for one. <laughs> yeah, this is the most telegraphed to private. I don't care. Oh, GG. 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 Uh, wh which direction? Uh, <laughs> we, we've got it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it has to be. We've got it. I. You would have to cast two spells through our deprive. So. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what even is that? Yo, um... No. No, I don't... That that has too many green mana symbols. What <laughs> the hell? Kalani Hydra is... Green, 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 green for an 8-8. Eight eight. It costs green less for each green creature it controls. God damn, that is stupid. Green, 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 green. It's the Primal Crux deck. <laughs> like... Oh, man. Yes, eight green. Good lord, that is dumb. It's like affinity for green creatures. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I guess that explains why he was so heavy green.
Yeah, he wanted the Kalani Hydra, and his red must have... Like, we only saw Battle Rattle Shaman on red. Yeah, well, honestly, what an awful creature to build your deck around. He's he's kind of nifty. He's, he's certainly big. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, next to Ulamog's Crusher... I know. Come on. <laughs> I mean, what if he has Ul... I mean, he's fine as, like, a replacement Ulamog's Crusher, too, because he comes down cheaper. Yeah, I suppose so. Because right there he tapped five for it, so that's, that's. I guess okay, you could you could have like, battlement draw a tree speaker, <laughs> that have colony hydra on like turn four or something bonkers. That would be three. Good God. That would be turn one tree speaker, turn two up tree speaker, tap tree speaker battlements, turn three third land. So you have green 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 from lands, green 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 from, uh, mana dudes, and then uh, green green from creatures you control, so 8-8 eight, eight on 3. Yeah, that's exactly enough. That's kind of bonkers. Yes, uh, he he actually knew that he lost because the rebound on Distortion Strike was another 5 damage from Kozilex Predator. See, put pressure on your opponent. <laughs> yes. Good call. You know Good what? Plan. Crack it back. Snake Umbra draws you right out of it. Yeah, who even Dra cares? Dealing damage to your opponent and drawing 2 cards a turn. Sure. <laughs> I like it when my when my uh, five fours draw cards. Yeah, good lord, what would that cost as just a as a, as just a creature? You know, like a green creature who's like five four when it deals damage, you draw a card. Histrodon is the closest thing I've got for you, and he was a three four. I think we could print that at five mana. That would be aggressive. Without, without the with, morph, yeah, I, that's yeah, fine. With no with no evasion ability to speak of, I think it could actually exist like that in in just green. I think that'd be an un, a good uncommon. Yeah, that would be like uncommon. All right, I'll put that in the in the next set. Yeah, th <laughs> throw that on the file. We can have yeah. that in the next set. That was, uh, yeah, we, we also showed him why Might of the Masses wasn't really what he needed. I mean, I do, res I do respect Bramble Snap. You just need Eldrazi spawn. You need them. I mean... Hmm. I think everyone has swords who... Yeah, I was just looking at, I was looking and I, I like, according to Twitch chat, it says that Medibot has a sword... But I don't see a sword next to him. So. Right. I mean, that's that's been a that's a known issue. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that he can still use moderator actions. Yeah, so. I have my sword. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the other game is fu is finished up. We didn't get a chance to look, but we actually have some really good names in this one. You, oh, when you were around, oh my. around, we have Yoshi are cool. We have um, Milamo Squishy. Um, we had Elvish Warrior proper, just an Elvish Warrior. <laughs> just straight up Elvish Warrior. Man, he's a, <laughs> he's a two three. <laughs> he's a two mana two three. How could we beat him? <laughs> Rock Hard Ten. Like this is filled with good names. Oh man, Rock Hard Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Rock hard. <laughs> well then, we we have the breaker though. We will break him. He thinks oh he is God. tough, but we have a man we, who will we, break him. We have the toughest man. That man is so tough. <laughs> Just look at him. Look at how tough he is. <laughs> oh. Also, we get like three more packs from this. Amazing. L like after we win? Or... Well, at this point, we're in finals, so we get three packs regardless and four on a win. Oh, wow. Which, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize these were, these were 4 3 2 2. So these, I thought they... they do not offer 8 4 of this, uh, sadly. I would I would play those because, I mean, so far. Hot damn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'd far, be... we'd be up pretty hard. We've been running efficiently. We found we found the color combination. <laughs> it's like no one expects blue green. Uh, Honestly, they really don't because that there's there's not a lot of overlap between the blue and the green. Right. Um. Okay. Well, well nest invader. Nest invader and a snake umbra. 
Oh, they run until Friday, Kavanaugh. Hmm. Yeah, good opponent. Yeah. Cool. We might have. We'll have packs. We might have. To, I don't have time tomorrow too, but Thursday I might be able to do some more of this. Uh, we don't want a mullet. You know what? Let's try it. I don't. God, I hate this freaking. I mean, we've thing. sort of mulliganed to six already. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> This freaking path raiser is like he he's just our he's like our mountain. He's a cheerleader. And hey, we can draw C beyond. Oh mm. you know, that's that's not nothing. Alright, let's let's nest invader and hopefully next turn snake umbra nest invader and go to town. That's my plan. That'd be pretty cool. He's gonna get heat raid though. Or flame slash. Won't be heat ray. I mean, okay. If he flame slashes, I will Eldrazi spawn and go to town. That's true. But we don't have to. I can go ahead and snake Umbra up the Nest Invader. Instant speed kill that could get me. None. Okay. There isn't one. Now there's Spawning Breath. There's Heat Ray. Uh, Stagger Shock at three. There's just... There's, no. It's nothing. Draw an extra card. Free Feels cards. really good. Fork Bolt is a sorcery. I would like to to use. Yeah. Hey, we're we're drawing land. That's good. We'll have yeah. Palaka Worm on six. Is he gonna spawning breath? To, where's this targeted? Oh, okay. He's smart. If he had targeted my Eldrazi spawn, I could sack my Eldrazi spawn <laughs> to stop him to from stop getting him Eldrazi, from Eldrazi spawn. spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Eldrazi spawn. Oh no, Forge Bolt is a. Oh god, the Bramble. Oh no, not another Bramble Stab deck. <laughs> He's back. Yes! <laughs> Heroic. Let's, two mana draw two cards, rebuy it with freaking Mnemonic Wall. Let's go ahead and be Good heroic. Uh, bye bye, Pathraiser. You were. You have served your purpose. Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now you understand C Beyond in this uh, in this set. He's gonna trade. Uh, his a good card. bramble snap for our snake umbra, which would be very silly. But he could do it because Bram. Wait, tap yeah. an untapped creature. You can tra yeah, bramble snap can tap itself. Um, I could play a Seagate Oracle here. Uh. Yeah, that's fine, because we get the Kozilek's Predator to get Eldrazi spawn back. I was concerned about not getting Palaka Worm on time, but we will, we can still do that. Yeah, yeah. so Seagate Oracle, and like that's an upgrade on our board. It means that he has to commit more to this board to have Bramble Snap do anything to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Welcome back! Uh, I miss, missed you! Didn't, uh... Hi there! Hi, I I, met, I I didn't see you there. Um, ah, oh, the flame slash, whatever. That answers Snake Umbra. Okay, Snake Umbra more than replaced itself by this point. Yeah, two cards and six damage. Ondu Giant. Oh, awesome. Ondu Giant is better than Predator here, I think. Yeah. Um. Also, I no swinging with Nest Invader. That's a trap. Uh, don't don't attack. That's a trap. He goes block with Bramble Snap. Tap tap. Yep. So yeah, Andu Giant, go grab the mountain, and then we have on time Palaka next turn, and then we also might have this path raiser. Oh my god. That would be great. I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hey guys, you accidentally like shuffled me in. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. <Kavanaugh. laughs> Pathraiser is totally that guy. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Gotta kind of respect that. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here's my respect. Yeah, I think Palaka Worm is still better than that. He has safe blocks. You, you don't have an attack here. Nope. This is a 4-4 four -four now on the block. This is a good blocker, by the way. Because he can actually let all of his creatures block and then do things. 
And next turn, we have, like, Kozal X Predator. We have Swing with Palaka Worm. Oh, oh, no. Oh. That's big enough to kill Palaka Worm in the fight. I don't think I care. I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, on the... Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I gotcha. Um... Ooh. I think we want to play Predator. Yeah, I could. We we could also in Mnemonic Wall just to pull back Sea Beyond. I like Predator a little better. Mm. Um, I think Swing Palaka Worm still fine because I'd rather get this Borumber the hell off the board, and it would draw us a replacement card. Also, we have so much top end Palaka Worm trading one for, not even one for one. Is still fine. Yeah. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and attack. I don't believe I plan on doing another one tonight. It's already quite late and we're in the final round. I do plan on doing some more on Thursday, I believe. That sounds like a good day. Uh, we are breaking people with the Beast Breaker of Balagad. That is the breaker. He is the breaker. He will break you. I will break your aura. Yes, we know how Bramble Snap works now. Off with you. Hey, land. Cool. Um, it's still Kozlek's Predator Pass. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Then we draw a land next turn and cast Path Razor. Oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Hell, we even like even like cast Brood Warden get in. Yeah, no kidding. What do we got? A lot of mana. Yo, what's going on here? What on earth? Oh, he wants to sack that. Okay. Repracious one. Alright. This is a good creature. It's just not Pathrays for Fulamog. He is a mere drone compared to what we will do to him. Ah, damn it. Damn. Um. Like Mnemonic Wall. Sea Beyond. Maybe just Brood Warden. I like Brood Warden here. You know, then then it makes it look like we want our guys as as two twos. <laughs> I could also distortion strike in like Kozilex Predator here for damage. Do we need him as a blocker? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather have this guy like on the on the back foot. Like this is a huge threat next turn. If he if if like if he swings, he won't have enough blockers to deal with this attack next turn. Yeah, throw up the rattlesnake. Why yeah, not? Yeah. So this is like. This is a weird threat he needs to answer, so I just want to see how he deals with it. Okay, swing with Repracious Wall, and how do I block here? Hmm. Well, probably Brood War Nandu Giant. If he has a pump spell, it's 3-3, three, three. so... <laughs> What about mm. team? <laughs> Just throw everybody in front of him. You don't get any spawn tokens. What? Are, yeah. What? Are, I think team. Yo, try to spawn token this. Take some time and think about it. <laughs> if he has bite of the masses, who cares? He can't play three bite of the masses. <laughs> Dog pile. Wow. Nice trick. Yeah. yeah, that's the heat ray. All right. Um, I still like our block. Yeah. <laughs> Two for three. Ah, the rebound. 
You may cast Distortion Strike on your Kozilek's Predator. I guess he wanted to get our... Oh, man! Lord! The one land! The one! <laughs> I am disappointed beyond belief, and I think I'm going to, like, mnemonic wall for freaking Distortion Strike here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the one land that could have been. <gasps> ah, we will never cast Pathraiser. It's, what a shame. Yeah, I don't think we will. And yes, it is a bit lower uh, lower quality than I'd, I'd like to, just because it ends up being quite laggy on my internet if I stream it at, like, 1080p or whatever. So I apologize for that. So yeah, here's seven damage, and then I'm threatening lethal next turn. Wow, I'll never get to cast Pathraiser of Ulamog. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> guys, you shuffled me in the deck, what the hell? Yeah, guys, I thought you, like, wanted friend. Naturalize, are you coming in? You're coming in. Yeah, against the, like, Orinarlid deck? Orinarlid? Yeah. Um, or... I'd probably take out the Rude Warden, like usual. Yeah. He's kind of the weak man on campus. Third wheel. It is impossible to take out Pathraiser. He's, he's stuck under the lance. It, it can't happen. You can't get to him. <laughs> you don't understand. God, I can't it's, believe. It's not Rise of the Things Other Than Eldrazi. Not, look, they didn't name the set Rise of the Palaka Worm. They didn't. They could have, but they didn't. They really should have, perhaps. Look at this. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm super stoked right now. They grow them pretty tasty in Palaka, as it turns out. Well then, um, Helmar Wave Watch is like a buster here. Nest Invader gets us to block a worm early. Yeah, this rules. This is the best. If we draw a card we don't like, we ship it. Yeah, we we even have the like, oh hi, Pathraiser, how are you doing, button? And that's an important button to have. <laughs> You're like, no, come back later. Ooh, okay, not prison. A threat, not a threat. I mean, that does mean he's, like, threatening anything at any time, but, eh. Well, I mean, like, not, I mean, I'm not on th board threat. I don't, oh, did he miss a land drop? Oh, good lord. Um, hmm. Hmm, he says. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> what did he say there? I, I don't see it. I was not the way I hoped to end this draft. <laughs> uh, I yeah. So sorry, guy. Um, creature guy. Let's go ahead and play the Warmonger's Chariot. Look, we'll make it quick. Sorry, guy. Oh, not it. Oh, jeez. I understand him keeping a two-lander with Prophetic Prism, though. That's That does make... He discards Orinarlid? Whoa, we need to kill this man fast. What does he think he has? Goodness. Keep I... moving. Warmonger. <laughs> um... Yeah... I I think we're winning this one. <laughs> we're drafting the same deck. Yeah, that that deserves a smile. He's, he's a good guy. <laughs> All right. Well, let's.
We even get the Palaka worm at the end here. <laughs> oh. There's his third land. R and R lid. Ah, uh, that's why he discarded R and R lid. He had a copy. Well, sadly, not the land I wanted. I do wish to use that ability. God, we get to do something vile to this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. He was a good man. He's, he died a warrior's death. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the, to the freaking <laughs> nest invader in the chariot with the snake umbra. <laughs> I like the flavor of chariot because... If it's a small guy, he rides it, and if it's a big guy, he pulls it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, you're never at a loss for an explanation as to how it works. Yeah. Ah, uh, the brave R and R lid fought, fought well, both of them. Man. Well, that, that... I mean, it was pretty clear what his plan was. Yeah! <laughs> that path razor never got to come down. He was, he was the hero. Devastatingly close. Devastating <laughs> summons never came down either. Yeah. Well, we never. We could have. We could have. There were there were some times when I was like, oh man, devastating summons for two eight eights with a rebounding distortion strike. <laughs> <laughs> but we we never needed it, which was yeah, we we yeah. didn't need to, and like <laughs> not sacrificing eight lands. Yeah, let's sack our board. <laughs> Look, that's that's usually correct. Look, what happened is we played through, we we fought the Elite Four, we got to the Hall of Fame, and Pathraiser Vulmog gets to be noted. Like he was there, he was on the team. Yep. yep, he, yep. he goes in the Hall of Fame. Rise of the Blocker Worm. I love that we lost the game where we uh, <laughs> got Seagate Oracle into two Blocker Blocker worms. worms. What? <laughs> I love it. That was something beautiful. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, Zoo. Thank you for joining me, Kaz. It was my pleasure. Good night, everybody. Good night.